Hey guys, welcome to another Drew Brew video. Uh, as you can see here, I'm scrolling through Google um, just to see uh, what kind of threaded lug nut covers are. I mean, they look pretty cool, they're chrome, and you can get some for as cheap as 99 cents. But, uh, you know, when you have a 3D printer, it's kind of hard to just accept things as they are, you know? You just have to go there and you have to improve something, you have to make something custom. I mean, and it's not always better, but it's yours, you know, you made it. So that's what's cool about that. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys a little set of things that I have made. So these are some, or rather a few of the lug nut covers that I have made. And uh, they are all threaded. As you can see, these have already been on my truck, uh, hence the napkin. Uh, so these are custom. I mean, and uh, they're red because my truck is red. So <laughs> they might look a little bit like, I don't know, what is that, a ricer? That's the term coined for those coin cars, but uh, I think it would look really cool on a fire truck. I mean, look at this. This is a fire hydrant. Imagine 10 of these on a fire truck. I mean, that'd be pretty unique. Uh, so this is a shotgun shell. Uh, it's a bit bulky for my taste, uh, a bit too big. So I probably won't be using that. Uh, these are pretty cool. These are designed uh, from the Magnum or 357 Magnum. Uh, revolvers, well, at least the styling, anyways. So they look cool. This one, it looks kind of funky, kind of like a Diglett from Pokemon. Uh, but the reason for that is because I tried to make it like the minimum amount of uh, you know, material used just to test. This is my test subject that I did my first design. So I've gotten to the point where very often my 3D designs uh, work on the first try, and this was one of those cases. So, anyways, without further ado, I just wanted to say. Uh, I'm on my 10th version, and this is probably the one I want to put on my truck. So, this is basically a hollow point round, uh, also mixed with the Magnum style design, and it's using as little material as possible, although this one is 100% infill, just because, you know, for outdoor use. I don't know how long this PLA will last, but just as a reference point, look how tall this is. See, it's the same uh, height, so it's using barely any material has some cutouts in there, you know, and at the same time, everything on the inside is 100% infill, all 45 degree angles, so if I printed it just like this, uh, my glass bed, so this is all that was holding on, and it holds on just fine, I'm not sure how your printer would do, but if you or a truck driver that you know need some lug covers, and they want to make them fancy, I mean, you could print the rainbow for all I know, um, you know, these things will look pretty cool. And you have this array of options, and I also, I didn't print them, but I designed the classic array. There's like the cone, the cylinder, all that kind of stuff. So if you need one, you know, go ahead, they're free to download. Just, uh, if you could post to make, I'd appreciate it. You know, tell me, hey, something's wrong here, something's wrong there, or this is great, you know. Feedback really helps me improve my design, so I appreciate it, and you guys have fun with these. I'd like to see some on the road. <laughs> all right, peace out, bye. I just want to show you how these work. Check this out. Okay, this is threaded. This is my last version 10 design. And uh, so I'll just screw it on. Get it on there tight. And if they don't come out, they're pretty good because they're printed in 0.2 millimeters. They're great. Yeah. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe. That would really help. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.